The focus of this video will be to show you how to set up and use Jing so you can quickly take screenshots and annotate them like this one. Whether it's creating a help desk ticket or showing off your trading success or maybe putting a question together on the form and you need some visuals, Jing is the perfect tool to aid in that visual aspect of creating whatever kind of content that you're trying to create. You don't have to use Jing. There are many other tools to accomplish the same task. However, it is what the majority of people use since it is free and very simple. Stick around and I'll show you how to get it set up and use it. Alright, welcome on back. So I'm going to start off by setting up Jing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the link, which I will provide this for you in the forum. So you don't need to go hunting for it. But as you can see, I just typed in Jing and there's a link to TechSmith's website right there where you can download it. Uh, you should just be able to click on the free download button for Windows. And there it is, it starts automatically. We're gonna keep it, let it finish downloading. And then we're gonna click this to install it. Thank you for accepting, trying Jing. What kind of options do we have? Launch it after application, start it when the computer starts. That sounds great. <clears throat> Accept the terms and conditions and install. Now this is gonna be a little bit interesting because I already have uh, TechSmith's other program installed, uh, Snagit, which is a, a paid software. Jing is basically the free version. So if there's any kind of weird mix-ups, that could be why. But we're going to try it anyways. So Jing's ready to go. I'm going to click Finish. All right, here we go. So, oh, they give you a nice little video showing you how to use it. If you already know how to use it, click Start it. Well, there you go. You can probably just watch the Getting Started video. All right, they want you to set up an account. Uh, give me just a second. All right, so after you set up your account, which should be a very simple process, you'll notice that you have a little sun thing here at the top of your computer monitor, which you can actually move around if you don't like the position that it's in. Just click on the sun and, and drag it. You can even drag it over to a different monitor, like over here or up there, wherever. Uh, but at any rate, when you have it in a position that you like it in, I kind of prefer mine over there off to the side, you notice if you hover over it, you're given the option to capture a new screenshot, uh, view your history of screenshots, and then you have settings. All right, so in this settings window, you can go to preferences, and here's what I really like to do. You can enable hotkeys and create whatever hotkey you want. Uh, for example, I want it to be Control Shift U, as just an example. You can make it whatever you want uh, to, to start uh, Jing. For, for capturing and then the reason why I do this is because I have a, a mouse that has a ton of buttons on it and I would like to map one of my buttons to my mouse so I don't have to like remember what the shortcut combination is or maybe I don't feel like coming over and figuring out what monitor I have Jing installed on so like for me for example I have my hotkey uh, set up for control shift F and that allows me just to click one button on my mouse um, or keyboard. You can set up wherever you want and be able to capture the screenshot. Um, but that is where you would do that. Once you're done with this, you can just click finish and you're ready to go. So to use Jing, like I said, you can either, uh, what was the hotkey? Control shift U. There we go. You can either hit the hotkey that you created or you can come over here and click the plus sign for capture. So just hover over the little sun icon, click the plus sign, and you're ready to capture. So let's get something capture worthy. How about a chart? So let's see here. I'm learning the the IZSS system and I just don't understand a you know particular scenario and I need to ask a question. So I want to make sure I capture the entire chart. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try and capture the chart. Notice that when you hover, it will try to capture certain aspects of whatever program or application you're using at the time. So notice it's only capturing the inner window here of this NinjaTrader chart, or if I come up here and just hover over, you'll see it's only gonna capture that little bar. But if you hover over the title, 
bar of whatever application you're on, generally it will capture the entire window of the application. So if you're going to take a quick screenshot, either A, make sure that you're uh, hovering over the title bar so that you get the entire window, and it's easy to tell what it's capturing because everything else is grayed out on your screen. Or just drag. So I can click like over here, for example, and drag it across, and that is going to be my screenshot. Uh, you can also move, so if I like dra drug by accident, let me exit this. I just pushed escape to cancel. So if I'm like, all right, I need to capture this real quick, but I missed that, I can go, oh, whoops. I can either click this and drag it over like that, or I can move it around like that's what you're gonna capture. So when you're ready to capture, let's go back to just that window. If you wanna click the capture image button like that, and then you can name it down here if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, if you're just trying to quickly share the image, you can just click this button now, or if you want to annotate it, you have options like drawing arrows, like so. Uh, adding text. Please help me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whatever. You can add this, you can move it around, you can change the colors, increase the font size. Like there's tons of options. You can play with all of these. And when you're finally ready, to share your image with someone, just click the share via screencast.com button down here, the bottom left. And you'll see right there, it's uploading and it's done. So the capture has already been sent, it's on, on the website and the link is ready to be pasted, it's already in your clipboard. So there's no reason to copy anything, just paste it and you're good to go. So like if we go over here, create it, and I'll just put it up here in the title bar for this. Paste, that's all I did, control V. I'll show you, I can like right click, click paste, and you'll see it'll take us right to the screenshot we just created. And there it is. You can just give that link to someone. Uh, you can put that link in the help desk ticket, email, or whatever you're trying to do uh, to get assistance. Now, if you're posting on the forum, I will say that you need the actual image uh, for the image to show up. So again, if you're sharing this on the forum, there is one more step you need to do. You need to click on the picture so you actually get the picture and you'll see that it opens it up and it actually has the .png extension here at the end of the file. If I go back, you'll see right here it doesn't. This is just a link <clears throat> that has like their overlay and, and whatever here. But if you click the image, it'll take you to that actual image's location and notice the .png extent file extension. This is what you want to copy and paste on the forum. Uh, when you do this, it'll actually make the image appear in the forum post so people can see the image right there. They can actually enlarge it right there on the forum without having to take the extra step of leaving the forum to go to the website to then click it again to maybe make it bigger or something. If you just paste the PNG extension, this URL right here in the forum, it will show that image. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're over here on the forum and let's go to, I'll reply to this just to make it simple. So I'm gonna scroll down here, I'm gonna click reply. Here we go. So now, if I paste this, you'll see the image automatically appears. So the left side over there, oh my God, my hand disappeared. The left side over there uh, shows you text. The right side is what it's going to look like. It's a preview. Uh, window, if you will. <clears throat> so now if I go back here and I grab the other link that Screencast gave us, and here we'll uh, actually do this, we'll enter a line. All right, so I paste that there. You'll see that it's just give, give, giving us a link. So instead of posting the actual image, it's just a link, which again, someone's gonna have to click on and you know, find the image themselves and resize it themselves. And it's just not a, a good experience for everyone. If you want quick results from people uh, on the forum, it's best to just post the, the PNG there, link there, so it shows up in the forum post so everyone can quickly see it, answer your questions, and everyone benefits from it, and uh, uh, other visitors to the forum, and including yourself.
I would also like to point out that if you're having a live chat uh, with one of our support reps, maybe it's me, and we ask you for a screenshot, you can post that link directly there in the message as well. We'll get it and be able to open it without the need to attach anything or go through any hoops. And it doesn't matter what your question's about. Maybe we need a screenshot of the, of the scanner or a chart or an error message or whatever it is. Just use Gene or, there we go, take an, uh, an image of whatever it is. You can annotate it however you need to and just upload it and paste the link directly there in the message and we will get it and be able to take care of you. All right, so one more time as a recap, just hover over the sun, click the plus, capture whatever it is you're trying to capture, uh, annotate it however you wish, click the capture image button. Notice that it moved to the top since I captured something close to the bottom. You just have to make sure you find it, click capture image, click share via screencast, it will upload. You can click this. It'll take you directly to the image. From here, if you're trying to share on the form, you have two options. One, right click and copy link address. And that will automatically put the uh, .png in your clipboard or click on the image and then click here and copy and it does the same exact thing. And then paste it on the form or help desk or elite trading room or wherever you're trying to go. All right, well, that should wrap it up. I've showed you how to download and install Jing. I will leave a link in the forum post where this video can be found uh, and on YouTube as well to uh, directly to TechSmith's website where you can download Jing. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. And as always, I'm Ostacles with Apex Investing Institute and happy trading.